when you lob over your opponent's head and they're running back to get it, you need to go to the service line. And this point is a perfect example why. Now, this video is courtesy of Tennis Tunes on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. Something I'm really trying to focus on is making sure my returns, when it goes to my backhand side of the serves, making sure that I return with a topspin two-handed backhand. Slicing these returns isn't oh, doing much for me. All right, so we got Andrew and Brett. Brett here actually runs the channel, Tennis Tunes. So Brett hits a good shot into the corner, and Andrew is running off the court, and Andrew goes for a lob up over Brett's head, and Brett has to run back and get it. So watch. I don't know what that was. All right, so the ball goes over Brett's head. Andrew's running up into the court to get this ball out of the air so we can hit an overhead. This is such an easy strategy to follow and to benefit from. When you lob over the opponent's head, when they run back, they're probably going to lob it back. Well, what do you want to hit off their lob? You want to hit an overhead. You can't let their lob bounce. They're allowing your ball to bounce. But when they run back, do not allow their ball to bounce. And you do that by getting up to the service line. Now, you might say, well, Andrew was late getting to the service line. No, he wasn't. He was right on time. He went. He got there as early as, as he could. He was pulled way off the court by Brett's approach. So he got in when he could, right, after getting his balance and then coming back into the court. Then he's got a chance to put the ball away or to force an overhead. What I typically see are two decisions made by players in Andrew's position. The player hits the great lob, the player's running, the, the opponent's running back, and the lobber either stays behind the baseline, eh, you don't want to do that, or the lobber gets really tight to the net. You don't want to do that either. Well, let me add the, eh, you don't want to do that either, because Brett could then easily lob over Andrew. You don't want to get super tight or stay super far back. You want to be in the middle. That's the service line. And then if it's, whether it's a ground stroke right to you or a weak lob or a strong lob or a ball to your left, a ball to your right, because you're in the center, you can go in any direction and you can get their ball out of the air and then put the ball away. The next time you're playing singles or doubles, it doesn't matter, but the next time you're playing singles and you lob over your opponent's head and they're running back to get it, move inside the court so you can get their ball out of the air and you'll win more matches. So if you're a singles player and you're really frustrated with your strategy because you keep losing to opponents you feel you should be able to be like a pusher, then check out the singles playbook where they teach you how to beat the seven most common playing styles in recreational tennis. How to beat the pusher, counter puncher, aggressive baseliner, serve and volleyer, <laughs> Dr. Feelgood, those are those slice and dicers, those really annoying players who put all that spin on the ball. Uh, I, I hate playing those players, uh, all court players and southpaws. See, this is over 50 pages of strategy after strategy, and each page comes with a QR code. You just put your phone or tablet up over that code and up pops a video teaching you exactly how to use these strategies. So if you wanna to play to your strengths while exposing your opponent's weaknesses all while avoiding common errors, then you gotta check out the singles playbook. You can do so by clicking the link on the screen right now. So click right there to check out the singles playbook so you can start winning more singles matches. When you lob your opponent, quickly go to the service line. Hit their ball out of the air. If you do, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.